What's up? What's up, everybody? You are now in the No Judgment Zone with yours truly, Sean Taylor, discussing topics with no judgments, discussing topics with no judgments. How's everybody out there doing? All the places that I'm streaming, my personal Facebook page, Sean Taylor, my business Facebook page, Taylor Made Training for You, uh, my private group, which is in honor of my mother, for imperfect, non judgmental people only, 50 and over, uh, my mental health, uh, my, men, my men's mental group. Uh, mental health group, um, also um, Twitter, Twitch, my YouTube channel, Gwen's Boys Mindset. Welcome to the No Judgment Zone, discussing topics with no judgment. Listen, people, listen. I know the title I hear on this particular subject may have people a little bit taken aback, but it's necessary. We're going to break down the super Negro. We're really going to break him down. And this, this, this is the thing. I heard a comedian making a joke. So I was like, you know what? It would be so cool for me and B to do a podcast on the Super Negro. Listen, man, this ain't got nothing to do with race, racial slurs or anything like that. Listen, I know we live in a sensitive, just sensitive ass society. Can y'all loosen up your butt cheeks, open your minds a little bit. It's going to be a little bit humorous, but it's going it, it, it's going to bring some factual stuff to life. So. The super Negro, his, he's, a, he's, he's the perfect dude in a lot of men, men, I mean, excuse me, women's eyes. So when us men, we look at a woman, we're visual. We look at her, we may see her shape or whatever the case may be, blah, 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 blah. We're not concerned whether she works and how much money she makes or what house she has or what car she's driving. Um, we're, not, we're not doing background checks on her. We don't, we don't do all these things. We normally, and I think Brandon can attest to this, we normally take women right where they're standing at face value. Now, what in some women's mind, because I've had conversations, I mean, I'm just with women, period, you know, different races, cultures, or whatever, but when in a lot of women's mind, they are looking for the perfect guy. They are looking for, I mean, the perfect dude. I mean, yeah. you know, the perfect height. He's got to be making six figures and he's got to have a, this, 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 uh, 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 this house here and a house over here. And he's got to have all these things that, you know, he's got to have the perfect shalom. I mean, everything's mm-hmm. got to be, everything's got to be everything. Now, does the perfect, does the perfect dude exist? Brandon? I'm going to let you, uh, this is yeah, my co-host Brandon Lampley. Y'all have seen him before, my dude, my ace. Brandon, what do you think on that, man? Because we're going to break down dun, 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 the Super Negro. We're going to break him down. We yeah. are going to break this brother down. So, B, take it, man. What you got, bro? It, 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 it's gotten to the point where the dating game has gotten there because of options, man. I mean, you getting dismissed off of the most trivial of things man you sipping and she's like i don't like the way he sipped in that straw and she could be turned off <laughs> and be, hey and that's just how fast it can go man that's just how fast it can go you can be like I'm, I'm i don't like that i don't i don't like why he why he gotta wear his shirt cut off like that they'll cut you off for the smallest reasons and that's because they got 10 other dudes lined up she got a saturday a sunday a tuesday a thursday a friday I mean, even the most mediocre looking woman can get on the dating app, swipe away and get hundreds of matches right away. So because they've gotten all these options and I told you and I told you, Sean, it's women who, you know, they they they, they're not that good looking. They're highly out of shape and they getting piped down and dug out by dudes built just like you. So that's what it that's where it comes from. So you like, man, how they want all these things? It's because they're getting piped down by some of these guys. That's one of the issues, man. So they like, well, that's like a, a girl today, she can meet Chris Brown and sleep with Chris Brown, and she thinks that's her new level. So she's like, Oh, he gotta be Chris Brown the better. That's where that comes from because they've had access. So I've had this guy, I can get another guy, I can get another guy. I can get a better looking guy. I can get a guy with more money. I want a guy. I had a dude six five already. I want a dude who's six eight and a billionaire. Damn it, that's not like LeBron James who played for the Lakers. I want that dude. That's what they want today, man. And it's just it's options, man. If they didn't have so many options, it wouldn't be like this. Because you know, back in the day, 
say just Jacksonville alone, you had to choose from the pool that was in Jacksonville. Now you could choose from the world. The it's it's open. It's a free market now. So them rich them rich dudes in Africa who be tricking off. Hey, they flying out um girls, the dudes in Dubai. And when you learn about what them girls over there and doing Dubai for money, it's gonna disgust you. I'm just letting you know. So if you look it up, that's on you. What they go over there and get done to them in Dubai. So they get access to all these dudes, flying them out, taking them on trips, doing all this stuff. So that creates that that perfect man in her mind. Well, I had this experience from this guy, that experience from that guy. They want to take all them experiences and put it into one man. That's the super negro you're talking about. <laughs> Da, 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 the super negro i mean listen listen man and and it's baffling to me because um you know well you know back in the day you know you, you know brother was really shallow she had to be perfect hair going down her back everything had to be yeah. perfect you know I, I i get that i get that to a certain extent but then you know brother had to grow out of it but here's the thing Sitting on the other side as a man, when you give a chick that you normally didn't give back in the day a chance, you be looking, you sitting at her and be like, you know what, back in the day, I wouldn't have looked at you for a millisecond, you know, yeah. but now you, you know, you give a, you give a chick who's normally, you know, you know, I mean, if you go out, you know, um, my mom said this. And, and and boy, and they, a lot of people are not going to agree with this, maybe not even like this. Now, I've had some discussion with females just on their opinion, and they always like, you are right. <clears throat> you go out with somebody. <clears throat> if that dude gets more attention than she gets, she's going to have a whole problem with that situation. Yeah. You know why? Because he is the eye candy. In the mm -hmm. room between them two not saying that she don't look good but this dude is getting way more attention than she does he gets way more attention in his daily life than she does so yeah. she don't she has a problem with that sometimes women will dummy down and get something so they're the illuminating thing everywhere they go because they don't want that dude to overshadow them but in retrospect the perfect guy, ladies, does not exist. And here's the thing. If that dude is darn near close to perfection, you got to know somewhere in the back of your mind, this dude's got to have a lot of more horses in his stable or tons of more options. Am I, am I the number one choice? Am I the number one prize? That, that right there, Sean. What you got? That's why I've heard a guy say it, and I said that makes sense. He said most women are side chicks, and the reason being is because all they all want the super negro. <laughs> super negro got a stable, don't he? So mm -hmm. you're one of many in that stable. So what are you? Right. A side chick. Are they all chasing the same guy? All side chicks. That's that's how it is. I mean, this guy's in demand. Why would I cut off my options to be with you? That's the delusion, though. Not that you can sleep with this guy, but the delusion is he's going to choose you and then cut off all his options. That makes zero sense. Man, this topic is, boy, this topic is fire right now. Man. <laughs> I mean, because I'm, I'm like, this is, it's, it's, it's so crazy, but it's so true. But me and my mother used yeah. to have these, these conversations all the time about that, about a dude who's, pretty much well put together. He's pretty much even kill on every check mark. I mean, yeah. his job, I mean, he's not he's not broke. He's got money in the bank. He's yeah, looks, he's money, boss, status, he's doing his game. Thing. He's, he's educated. He looks good. He's articulate. He's got a nice body. I mean, I mean, he's got he's he's got all these boxes checked off. She says, "Sean, I don't understand how we as women think that this dude that's almost perfect in every way that this dude ain't got tons of options and then our attitude protrudes like we got all those options she said and my, my mom used to tell me this all the time she said sean the difference between men and women and women can't stand when i tell them that i tell them this on a job baby but the difference between men and women when a woman sees a dude nine times out of ten when she feeling that dude she normally wants that dude when a dude sees a woman, 
nine times out of ten, he's looking for a kill. Yeah. He's looking for another notch. Mm -hmm. She said, it's easy to get any dude to sleep with you. But to make you his numero uno one, that's a whole different task. You can think that you got capes and uh, sparkles and fireworks coming out your vagina and all this other stuff. Listen, he got about 10, 15, 20 of them lined up that's, you know, coming at him the same, the same way. What is it going to make you stand out from the rest? Okay, we see your physical attributes, but I made a post that masculinity is here to stay, ladies and gentlemen. I made a post that the intelligent man is being led by his brain and not his penis. Yeah. The intelligent man is switching up his game plan. The intelligent man though, you know what? Yeah, I could probably have a different chick every day of the week if I want to, based off of the way I look alone. But he's like, you know what? I'm on my purpose, I'm on my business, I'm on my grind. The only thing I'm looking at that's going to make that number one woman stand out is her mindset. Not the one that fools me with the fake mindset. And I'm yeah. thinking, oh, her mindset is this and her mindset is that. And then a couple of months later, her mindset is the total opposite of what she is. Because she lied, in the, she lied in the beginning. Mm -hmm. No, but that woman that has that consistent mindset that I ain't even touched, but we just have a conversation. You can tell her mindset in her text message. You can, t she speaks like you think and thinks like you speak. They, I mean, it, and it's, it's consistent. She is naturally sweet. She can been through hell. We're not talking about the women who've been through hell and hide their bitterness and they, and they unforgiving and they grudges and they hide it deep there and they bring it out later and you be like, who in the hell is this chick? We talking about the woman who's been through some things and have it and it's got, and she's so in tune with her, womanhood and she's so in tune not only with a womanhood but her alignment with the big man upstairs that she is not going to be foolish enough to let life and men and situation and childhood trauma change her heart because mm -hmm. once your heart changes it's kind of hard to come back out of that who who yeah. you are which is the core of you in your heart it's kind of hard you you can pretend to be who you who you are pretending to be only for some long, but what's in your heart is going to come out. The woman that lose, she's gonna lose a good dude and the woman that's going to get her dude that she thought that was not good enough is the woman who's been through the same stuff she's been through and even more, but it ha have, hasn't allowed to change her heart. And she's gonna be sweet to that man and she's gonna be understanding to that man and she's gonna be compromising to that man and she's gonna be his true ride or die. She's not, she's not fake. She's not telling him something one day and then he don't know what woman he gonna have Monday through Sunday. She's the same chick no matter what she's going through things or not going through things. Yeah. She does not invalidate what he <clears throat> goes through on a daily basis. She mm -hmm. is asking him, hey baby, how, how, how was your day? And she's just not doing it on whims. She's doing it all the time. Yeah. She is bringing as much to the, and, and people talking about the table uh, the bag and whatever. What y'all need to be, what you need to be concerned about is what people bring to that mental table. Because that mental table is the only table that matters at the end of the day. That mental table is going to determine whether he treats you right or she treats you right. That mental table is going to show when things are upside down and the shit going sideways and they're not always saying the things that you want them to say or doing the things that they want you to do. That mental table is always going to come back into alignment because the mental is what keep people together, not the physical. You right. see what I'm saying? He can have the best penis in the world and her, 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 her vagina could be sunshine, but it is not going to keep those two people together. That mental connection, mm -hmm. see, once that mental connection is off, you might as well say you're done. But yeah. the mental connection, it can't be a fake connection in the beginning. Because a mental person, he or she is hard to turn. They can't turn it off because they, they don't look at people from the eyes. They look at people from the soul. They're not looking at people from the eyes. They're looking at people from the heart. They ain't watching what they're doing. They're watching what's up in here. And that's the difference mistakes men and women make. B, what you got on that, man? Uh, absolutely. Um when someone like you come across a woman, she has unrealistic expectations, or let's just say her standard is very, very high. 
and right. it's realistic. These guys exist, but her standards is very high. Right. Um, the way you stop her in her track, so you get it on pause and get at that. The way you get that is ask her, okay, you come across this super Negro. What are you going to do to keep him? What are you going to do to get him? And nine times out of 10, that, that's where they're stuck. That's where they're stuck because and then you have the ones who are just, uh, you know, I don't even pay them any attention anymore. The ones who are boisterous, you know, them, I don't cook, I don't clean, I ain't got to do this for me. You don't, you're not, you, you out of the running all the way for him anyway. So there's no need to even talk about it because he going to see you step right over you. Now, if you find he, he most likely going to get that kill and then he going to step right over you. That's just what it is. So, but the women who have those expectations, she like, well, what, what are you going to do to keep this guy? And most of them get stuck right there because a lot of us, even men and women, just like even a man, you come across that perfect woman, the woman you're looking for, what are you going to do as a man to keep her? Most of us were not taught. We weren't taught. We come from broken homes, broken families, a right. lot of damage, a lot of trauma. That's why I talk about black men and women and this war we got going between us two. I don't want to hear nothing about uh, coming to the negotiating table with black women until black men address what they got going on. We got too much stuff we got to fix and heal before you even talk about building anything, man. Because if you talking about coming to build now, it's going to be a bunch of broken people. You might as well build it on beat sand. Right. And that's why, man, you know, and I've had this conversation with my therapist. You know, I, I changed my therapist from a male to a female, I mean, a, a, a female to a male because I wanted somebody who, who was relatable to what men go through. And I yeah. did this on purpose. I wanted him to be black. Mm -hmm. I did this on purpose. So, you know, the moves I make in my life, my mom said, you always want to make chess moves, never checkers moves, Sean. You're going to have those times and in, in, in those eras in your life that you are going to get lost in things and you're going to start moving like checkers moves. And she said, Sean, every time I've seen you fall short, and I've seen you fall down. And she says something about you. When you get your heart broken, when you, when you start slowly mentally rebuilding yourself, you always come back 10 times stronger. And what fooled you that one time that broke you or broke your heart, it'll never fool you again. She said, that's one thing I admire about you. you like, she said, you have a mental strength that can only come from God because you ain't got it. Because I, I can tell sometimes you don't have it but he gives it to you. And she said, if people sat down and just let you, let you tell them everything you've been through from a child all the way up to this point, they would not only have a newfound respect and admiration for you, they would be questioning where does that strength come from? It's even baffling for me. So building myself back up, I'm in straight chess, strategic mode now i'm dangerous i'm very dangerous right now absolutely it's like it's like neo in the matrix he sees everything he knows everything he has heard everything so he is mentally equipped and prepared for any and uh, any nonsense and anything that comes his way it's just going to be constantly shut down whether it's anything anything outside of what he's went through anything that's inquiring about he's just going to kill it and kill it dead she said you you come back like an assassin and that and that's how i am i'm like just fully 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 strong and i tell people you have to get mentally in tune with yourself when you are broken down to build yourself back up but also depending yeah. on the help of the man that looks high excuse me that sits high and looks low because mm -hmm. that's where all the help actually comes from but to yep. always realize we got to realize karma sees everything and karma hears everything. We are all, no one is exempt from karma. Nobody. So whatever you did to somebody, you think that's hidden and they don't, and they know, they know. I know a lot of things, B. I just keep them. It's a street club. When you, when you know, you keep it. You yeah. keep it. And, and you don't expose it. I'm not going to expose anything that I, but I, but I already know. So for anybody who's been broken with life or death or anything of that nature, you can build yourself back up. It's going to take time and it's going, you got to stay on it on a, you know, pretty much a daily basis. But when it comes to this man thing and this woman thing, the super Negro, there is nothing that actually exists. 
And you have to be very, very careful, ladies, not to get yourself set up. Because if you're looking for the super Negro, I'm telling you, I'm a dude. We lie. We have lied. I used to be a compulsive liar back in the day. I'm not trying to yeah. expose the dudes, but I'm just saying that dude got more options that you probably can even fathom. And yeah. I will be very careful. And when you say it all the time, you got to be very careful in looking for the perfect man. You setting yeah. your own self up. Yeah. You know, you, you don't, you want a man who, who would tell you straight up, I am perfectly imperfect. I didn't yeah. mess up. He ain't trying. He ain't trying to pretend that he's living a certain lifestyle. That he's never messed up. Yeah. He's never cheated. He's never lied. He never done nothing shady. He never done nothing manipulative. You got to be very, very, very careful of those people, and be very, very careful of people who are looking for easy. Yeah, they look for easy. They, they, they gonna work. They ain't gonna work with you when sh when shit gets hard. No. And men and women's options are different. And I don't think women oh, uh, fail to understand that sometimes is our options are different. Yes, as a woman, you have more options than me. But majority of those options are what? Sexual options. That's all. 95, 96, 97, 98% of those dudes, all they want to do is hit and run. That's that it. It. If the work is good, they'll be back for the re-up, but then that's about it, baby. That's, that, that, that's about it. That, that's all they're going to be able to give you. But as far as a man, that man you're talking about, these women, they want this guy. They they want to be with this guy. You got women who are willing to do whatever it takes to keep this guy. They're going to cater to this guy. They want to have this guy's children. They want to be in his life permanently. Right. That's the difference between our options. It's over here, all these do man, dudes love women. What? Of course, you're supposed to have options because dudes want to smash. That's just what it is, you know. And right. we get those having those having those options, though, men and women. It's it's that um because they've done studies on it, and we talked about it before. The more options you have, the less likely you are to make a decision um on something because FOMO, the fear of missing out. So if I make this option and another option comes on, I'm like, damn, I chose this, but man, look at that. Look at that right there. And this is another thing I noticed too, Sean. Even the guys who you are on the higher end of looks, they're on the higher end of money, they're on the higher end of status, higher end of game, you know, or whatever. Even those guys see what the game is today. That a lot of those women who are looking for superficial things and they only concerned about what he looked like and what he has, not the content of his character is, is that even they see that, women just want to have them like an accessory i'm like a purse you know i'm like a i'm like some louboutin shoes you know I, i'm like you know you know what i'm saying you know you know I'm, I'm like that i'm like that bmw that she want that's what it's like i'm like a utility to her i'm not an actual person you know it's a guy he was he's like he like six three and he's like he had a conversation with his girlfriend because he hear all this stuff i don't want dudes who six feet are tall i don't want tall dudes and he asked the girl he's like well if i was five eleven would you still date me He's like her foot, her face scrunched up. He's like, she like she got she caught the attitude. And she was like, nah, I wouldn't date you. He was like, wow, so that's all I am. And that's some cold, that's some cold truth right there, boy. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, but <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I just had a comment. <laughs> But it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't like that. It wasn't that like that. But it was. But it's. It's. It's kind of funny because it's a little crazy right there. But it's hilarious. But. 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 There are some women out here who have just some beautiful minds. I mean, gorgeous minds. But Absolutely. you got to. You got. To, but you got to have that mental conversation. And there's yeah. certain key words you have to say to see if that conversation is going into a mental place. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can't be referencing nothing sexual when you're trying to have a mental conversation when you first when you're first meeting this person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The first thing you're talking about is you know you're talking about you know everything's a sexual reference. Man, can we talk about something deeper than just sex, man? 
you know, but you got to have a deep mental conversation of a place of intelligence. And yeah. see, that's that tells you a lot about a person because it's almost like playing tennis. Y'all have a mental tennis and if y'all can keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth mentally. OK, you may have something. OK, you may have something that's different than the norm. You know what I'm saying? You may have something because y'all are coming from a mental place. And when you come from a mental place, it enhances everything else. Yeah. And people don't un- and, and, and people don't understand it. But it is so true to what you said, man, because when used to say all the time, she's like, man, why do they? Yeah, you can do some things that men can do. But if the turnout, the outcome is never going to be the same. No, it is they never going to be the same. They will equal women. outcomes. And my mom used to say all the time, like, yeah, if, uh, dudes were trying to sleep, which is since she was in elementary school. I mean, I mean OK, that, we already know that. But what is so grand about that? You got all these options, but none of those options. You may got out of 98 percent, you may got two percent that want to be in a relationship with you. Seriously, day yeah. in, day out, night in and night out. Who wants to mm-hmm. deal with your attitudes day in and day in, night in and night out? I mean, who wants to deal with your mood strings day in and day? You got 2%. Ladies, uh, I ain't no mathematician, but that percentage is, it's not good for you. No. <laughs> it's not. So my mom used to say women play themselves every day, every month, every week, every year. They're constantly playing themselves. Very smart. But they never think of the brass tactics of the end game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, I told you, it's like a, it's like it's like musical chairs, man. And right. You start the game out. She she you know goes to sleep, wake up every day, starts to develop, and now dudes are interested. So now you playing this game of musical chairs where there's endless chairs, chairs far as the eye can see. You see all these chairs. So when the music stops, you always got somewhere to sit down. But as time goes on, chairs get taken away and you start to want once they hit about those late 20s, they start to notice like, man, this less chairs than it was just a few years ago. What's going on? It's less and less chairs. I may need to start getting serious. Some don't wait. Some wait until they mid to late 30s to figure that out. You know, but we ain't going to get into which women who like to do that. But (laughs) some of them like to wait that long and then they wake up at 40. You know, and got a couple kids and told no man. They like, well, why these dudes ain't being serious? Serious? I was serious 20 years ago. Where were you at? You out having your fun. You were out gallivanting. Now you talking about serious? My options just opened up. So I I, got to play the field, baby. That's one thing about average guys is, is that women think average guys are always going to be there. You know, these guys, these guys, these average guys, these guys who... They seem to have in pocket. He's always going to be there. But you don't know what that man is going to become. You don't know how he's going to treat himself. You don't know what, how, how he's going to, how his looks are going to develop, how his money's going to develop, how his talent is going to develop, how his mindset is going to develop. You don't know. So that's why when th- those guys who have, who do become successful and they like, oh, oh man, now these dudes, they don't want to take nobody serious. They don't want to do this. You needed to get it on the ground level because once I get to where I'm going, I was, you know, why, why do I need you now? I got here without you. You were not a uh, uh, progress to my process. So why, why should I bring you in now? No, 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 absolutely not. No, no. Actually, what I'm looking for is your daughter, your daughter. She just turned 20, right? Introduce me to your daughter. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Boy, you wrong for that one. <laughs> That's the game. You silly. you silly, man. But, you know, Gwen mentioned that, man. She mentioned that, man, because, and people don't, my grandma used to say all the time, time don't always remain the same. No. That same person you looking down as you going up, as you going down, that person be going up. Yeah. See, my mom said that, is, my, my mom and my grandma would say that is the funniest thing that they've ever seen because people don't understand. God's got a real good sense of humor and he's got a sense of humor of teaching you a lesson. I've yeah. heard Steve Harvey also say that Sometimes women throw away the best thing they ever had. Why? Yeah. Because it's not where it wants to be. It, it's not where it's not where she wanted to be right then and there. Mm-hmm. And then she ended up getting the worst thing she ever had. And then that best thing she ever had, it just keeps blossoming. It keeps blossoming. It keeps blossoming. It's like, you yeah. know, and then your girlfriend's like, girl, how you let that go? 
I yeah. mean, it, 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 there's no way that that could have worked out. There's no way. Did y'all go through counseling? I mean, how do you, in your right mind, let that go? I mean, you can act yeah. like you don't see it, girl, or whatever, but dang, girl, we all I, 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 I could work that out. You know, because that dude just keep that dude just keep blow up you I mean, we see what you got now. You know, nobody ain't impressed, but how you let that go? But that happens with men and women. It happens. It, it, it happens. It, it, it goes on both sides. It goes on both sides. Men do it, yep. mess up a great thing, and to be trying to baby, baby, please. Can I get you back? Baby, baby, please. Not, trying not, to double back. No, no, mm -hmm. you can't double back. She don't want you now. And the same thing. Because Time is going to change. And people, y'all need to understand, we in 2022. Sit back at some point today. Think back of 2021. Think back of 2020, 2019, 2018, 2000, 2005, 2004, 1999, 1998. Now, and ask yourself a common sense question. Each year has it gotten worse or each year has it gotten better? That will be your telltale, ladies, to let you know each year it gets worse and it gets more scarce. Yeah. Just like Brandon say, each year more chairs are being taken away. Each yep. year more chairs are being taken away. Now, if you get a great dude, it things relationships are relationships yeah there's no heaven on earth and nothing you're gonna have problems situations circumstances work them out because you play in russian roulette thinking that you're gonna yeah yeah you yeah you can just like brandon say you're gonna get dug through pipe down whatever through the next guy yeah yeah yeah, yeah blah 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 whatever, whatever whatever refurbish pre owned whatever do your thing but you're playing Russian roulette thinking that every every dude you get is going to be good. And each mm -hmm. year, ladies, just like I said, it's getting worse and worse. Yep. 2022 may have been a not so good year for you with men. <laughs> 2023 may be a hellacious for you because it's yep. not going to get better. No matter yep. what you think in your mind, it is not going to get better. So when you got somebody who really loves you for you with no judgments, that's a rare commodity. Act like you got some common sense. The pretty privilege only plays, it's gonna play for only so long. It's going yep. to fade out at some point. So all I'm saying, Father Time is undefeated. He has not been defeated ever. So when you get somebody who is trying to be in the trenches with you while you're taking those grenades or you're not taking them by yourself, uh, I think you probably want to try to work that out. Because once you get back out there in that dating pool, you're going to get fooled and you're going to get played again. Because, man, when I tell you, there's some major, 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 major Oscar-winning performances. Best actor in the drama series. Best supporting actress. Mm -hmm. You're going to get played. Ooh, you gonna get, you, and you think, oh, I know the game. You can know the game all you want to. Somebody going to know the game better than you, ladies. I'm telling you. And then you're going to feel that what you dished out. Same thing, brothers. We ain't exempt. Trust me. It doesn't. Looks don't matter. Looks don't exempt you from getting played. There are no. beautiful women in the world that got played. They get the played Holly the Mary's, most. The J-Lo's. I mean. They get played we, the most. We, we could go, we go on. I mean, we there's there's good looking dudes that ain't got played. Yep. So look, uh, the game is the game. Yeah, yeah. The game is the game. Yeah. Absolutely. Hey, and those 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 women you're talking about, those pretty women, they get played the most because they have the most opportunities. Yeah, dudes always trying to finesse them out of something. Always. All every every guy's trying to talk to them. Every guy has his best Denzel and training day award-winning um academy award-winning uh performance ready for those type of women because right. hey one of the things we do fake it till you make it baby <laughs> hey i i know i ain't got this but hey i'm gonna put this fake chain on i'm gonna go pose by this yacht 
I'm opposed by this Lambo, and I'm gonna see who I can reel in. I mean, that's just what it is. We, we trying to catch. This is crazy. Right. Yeah, we trying to catch, man. So, right. um, oh, and no, and those 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 ladies who have somebody, and even those guys, you got somebody who's you that's uh, willing to you willing to fight for somebody's worth fighting for. You better work it out because this sharks out here, and blood is in the water. I, I'm just saying. Uh, there's no there's no soft landings when you come out of your relationship you got women who've been married 20 30 years i seen a lady she in her 50s like her late 50s and she making tiktoks dancing about how she ended her 30 year marriage i'm like um i'm i, I guess your plan is to be alone for the rest of your life because um <laughs> who, who coming in who, who coming in for that because the, the men who are in their late 50s they got access uh from 18 to 60. I mean, they got access to everything. So I, I'm just saying. It is not what you think out here, ladies and gentlemen. It is not. I mean, you can play yourself and get out there and let somebody just whisper anything in and you fall for it. But guess what? Time is going to tell all about that bullshit and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what? Dun, 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 the Super Negro. Yeah. He does not exist. Yeah. He does not. That dude does not exist. That super, that dun dun dun, dun super Negro, that unicorn that you're looking for, like the comedian said, he does not exist. He does not. Does so not. you're going to have to decipher through the bullshit shit. You're going to have to decipher through it. And, you know, I love when people are like, oh, you know, I can teach you the game and blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right. Okay. You finna, you finna, you, you keep talking that noise, old lady. And you're going to, and then the game finna teach you. And if you trying to mess with them younger dudes, oh man, you. Oh, oh, oh you know what they're gonna have to do? Oh, oh you finna, I'm, I'm, you finna, you finna get played, you finna get laid, played, ran 360 on. I mean, man, I mean, but good luck to you. Mm. I mean, everybody think that it is so easy out there. How is it easy when we pretty much living in the last days and people are lovers of themselves? You're dealing with selfish ass people, so you think that's easy? <laughs> You think you got somebody who really there for you when they putting on their best actress face and best actor's face, holding out Academy? Uh, I mean, yeah. you finna you you get you finna get played. It just admit, it depends on what what time throughout that timeline that you know your 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 getting played status is going to actually appear. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Hey, and if you don't believe us, crazy. all you got to do, all you have to do is just go look at prominent women who are in the media spotlight um your actresses entertainers but whatever go look at them and look at their relationships over the years and look who they're dealing with now versus who they had when they were younger like erica badu had a lineup of dudes now she's dealing with a 27 year old who ain't got nothing she's paying for him so older ladies yeah you could deal with the young dude he might be in the dynasty he look good he got everything but ain't got two cent in his pocket guess what you're gonna have to pay that's just what it is you're gonna have to provide for them. That, 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 that's how that's how it goes. But some of them like that position because it's controlling and they can tell dude when to come, where to go, or whatever. And they like that dynamic, but it's not gonna last because once that guy figure out, you know what, I don't have to deal with this, I don't have to listen to this, I can go get it on my own. He's gonna be out the door anyway. Right. Yeah. So I hope y'all got something out of this. And here's the thing, good people. When me and Brandon are talking from the male perspective, my mom said this, and I heard a good friend tell me this. And I just, she just told me this yesterday. And when I tell you this blew my mind, B, I, I gotta leave the ladies with this. And this what had me, when, when she was telling me this, I was like, damn, it was so powerful. A man's natural ability is supposed to lead. Yeah. That's his natural God-given ability. He's supposed to lead. Supposed when to you lead. give a level of resistance and not allowing that man to be a man to lead, you are shortchanging yourself. Ladies, if God wanted to make you masculine, y'all would all have a penis. There's an order that was predestined for a reason. 
Yeah. Your attitude is not in alignment of the blessings that that dude is that sits high and looks low wants to give you. You keep shortchanging yourself because of your attitude. And then you got a weak camp. You got a weak support system of friends because a real friend is going to gut check you and be like, you know what? That's the best dude I done seen you had. I don't know what happened. I don't know the ins and outs. That's none of my business. But that dude treated you right. Yeah. And you got your behind on your shoulders on some nonsense. And you get back out here like you 21 and you finna get played. There ain't nothing out there here. You got to get women. You got to start getting on your grown women shit. And guys, you started, you need to start getting on your grown man shit. Yeah. Get into these mentals, man. I mean, dig deep into these mentals. Have these mental conversations. Because these conversations are going to take. And once that mental conversation starts to change, once that mental starts to change based off what they do and how they speak, you know something is off. You may have missed the narcissism traits. Mm -hmm. You've well, overlooked that. Because you looking at her ass or you looking at how good he look, his muscles or whatever. You are missing those red flags because you are in a smoke screen of some other nonsense that you can't see through. But once yeah. that does settle and you start to replay that thing back yeah. and run that thing back forward, and you'd be like, oh, man, look at all these things that I missed. So you got to understand a man's natural ability is to lead. When you give level of resistance in that leadership, you are the problem, not that guy. And yep. the problem with our ladies, our beautiful sisters, our beautiful Caucasian women, our beautiful women all over the world, you are, you are challenging his leadership when you're supposed to be his real partner. So if his job is to lead, let that dude lead. You got to let him lead. But here's the thing. You be looking for the wrong stuff. A dude, based on what my friend says, see, a leader is a teacher. He can teach you things. And y'all with these dud ass, lame ass F boys ain't mm -hmm. teaching you a damn thing. Gwen used to tell me this. If a person can't teach you anything from, to, from the, the realm of a mentality standpoint, you are wasting your time. Because if you're not elevating and leveling up mentally baby you are walking and running in place you are mm -hmm. talking about you living your best life and your best life is next to nothing why because you're not elevating mentally if when you elevate mentally unforgiveness gets out of your cerebral cortex when you elevate mentally baby them grudges get out of your cerebral cortex that immaturity and not getting your own way it's all about you it's all about me i felt and uh, it's, it's, it's this and that. Your mental maturity, it changes because you're elevating. See, elevating your mind is pushing the bullshit and pushing a bad attitude, your masculinity, all that nonsense out your mind. If you still possess that, you are not learning anything. And I know truth yeah. is the new hate speech this day, this, this, in this day and time. Y'all don't like a lot what I'm saying. And y'all are the ones with the problems. Y'all are the, you are the women that men can't lead at all. You are the women that men can't even teach from a place of positivity because you get offense by everything. Let me tell you something. Intelligence never gets offended by facts. Yeah. And a man or woman's uneducated opinion is only as great as their knowledge is of the subject. So if that brother is trying to teach you something from a place of positivity, and he's leaning on a big man upstairs, that dude got your back. If that dude praying for you, he got your back. If that dude is putting up with any of your nonsense and you know you dead ass wrong, that dude has your back. You throw that away if you want to. You ain't getting mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee you this. Because dudes got way more options, ladies, than you will ever, ever, ever have that really genuinely want them. These yeah. dudes just trying to they, they just trying, listen, man, they just trying to smash. I'm yeah. a guy. I'm going to tell you what they ain't going to tell you. They just trying to smash. They ain't trying to cuff you, and they ain't trying to be there for you, and they not trying to build nothing with you. And ladies, yeah. you got to start being patient in the, words of, in the words of Michelle Obama. 
the number one reason in our black women, in our women, period, not just black women, all races of women, they have no patience. Y'all want yeah. ready-made tomorrow. You got to lose that microwave mentality. God could have sent you the best thing you ever had and you throw it away because you assume the devil playing tricks on your head and your mind playing tricks on you and you have not lost your old self. You have not lost your old self. In order to keep getting higher, you have to lose your old self and create a new, better, positive version of yourself. And you have to lose the immaturity, ladies. A lot of y'all grown, but y'all got little girl mentalities. I'm sorry. Little girls, yeah. little girls, little girls can't be laid, led, led. They always want to do their own thing. They constantly talking back. They constantly doing this. They constantly trying to one up. They, tr they constantly. That's a little girl mentality. Only grown women. Only grown women know when to shut it down. Grown women ain't trying to embarrass they do to make him feel some type of way. Grown women ain't worrying about, you know, if he loses money, I still got his back. She ain't making the dude feel bad because he, you know, he, he may be struggling financially. Baby, we, we in these trenches together. Yeah. Little girls make men feel less than men. Grown women, I ain't never seen a grown woman in my life make a man feel less because of what's in his pocket or what he possesses. That's what y'all little girls do. And I see little girls on social media all day. It's not my job to call you out. You know what I'm saying? I really don't care what you think about me anyway, what you say, it's, it's neither here nor there, but it's not my place to call you out because I'm not involved with you. I feel smart. Yeah. I feel sorry for the schmucks that are involved with you. The poor guy, I feel sorry for him because a lot of men got women at home with little girl mentality. Yeah. What you got, B? A lot of those men, a lot of men settle. They'll settle for that because they think they can't do any better. And right. you know, and you know, my my final thoughts on it is is that, um, and this this is like you know, um, basically what I'm, we're going to talk about on my show next is right. that you know we want to teach young men about their value. Teach your son that he has value. As a man, you don't know where you're going to end up in life. You don't know where you're going to be. You don't know what you're going to achieve. You may have nothing today. You may be skint broke today. No prospects of anything right now. But things could change in the blink of an eye and it can be different tomorrow. You don't know. That's why, because of the way today is and how dangerous dating, mating and all that can be, you need to treat people with respect out there. Treat people with respect and move in a move in a way where you could be cutthroat, but be a gentleman about it. Because you're seeing where these prominent men, women from 20, 30, 40 years ago coming up to my he did this to me, he did that to me, he said this. You got you, these guys probably didn't know that they were going to be the men that they are today. Most likely, they couldn't even dream of what type of man they were going to be. So, knowing that you need to basically carry yourself accordingly now even if you don't have anything whatever you aspire to be whatever you want to be get that mindset now yeah i want to be a millionaire one day well find out what millionaire um what their habits are like what they do day to day how their mindset is there's plenty of literature out there for you to read the study on figure that out now and start implementing it now you don't want to try to figure it out once you got the million dollars because you're most likely going to lose the million dollars so whatever, whatever you want to be, you need to get that mindset in you now. I already know. I'm going, I'm, I'm at some point, sports casting is in my blood. I'm going to be there. I'm being in the suit just like Stephen A on TV. I got to carry myself like that now because that's what I want to do and that's what I want to be. So that's what to the, especially the young men, and we're going to talk about it. Carry yourself like that now because you don't know what you're going to be. Awesome. That's a good we're gonna leave. We're gonna that's our final thought for the both of us right there. So, listen, like I always say, listen, people, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your comments. Leave them me and Brand, either me or Brandon, myself, we'll comment back. Appreciate everybody that's, that follow us and support us. We thank you guys. But like I said, at the end of every, my, every one of my segments, I'll start judging people once I'm perfect, too. But since this brother is in no danger of ever becoming perfect, you'll never have to worry about me ever judging you. Listen, y'all stay up. 
keep it positive. I please, please, ladies, I hope you got something out of that. If this out, this 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 stuff out here is not what you think. It is not what you think. Yeah. And you may be with somebody. Nine times out of ten, they they are not what you think. You know. So, listen, y'all stay up, man. Keep it positive, and uh, B, man, we'll get um offline. So the next show is on yours, brother. Yeah. All right, man. Remember, love is love, man. We out of here. Peace. Peace.